him, but it doesn't really matter at this point what they wave at him. He's going to fight like crazy. He's got a margin. How berserk was that? Absolutely threw that thing at turn eight and managed to get out the other side. Look at this, Kelly. So they're arguing for fourth. How's Mechanical the black flag, car 18, Jack Perkins. How is the comeback from Shane Van Gisbergen? Sent through pit lane, middle of the race. Enric Kelly. Both Henry of them Kelly. really good. Very, very good run. And here they are, fighting at the end. Van Gisbergen currently on the podium position. 3.22 kilometres to go. Courtney, Holden Racing Team versus Lowndes, Red Bull Racing Australia. Van Gisbergen trying to hold on to a podium finish. This is it. The Clipsal 500 crown is at stake right here. So 10 turns remaining to resolve the question of the Clipsal 500 champion for 2014. Lowndes has been a specialist on occasion down at turn nine. Does he have enough pace? This is the one, turn seven. Last time around, Courtney threw the whole lot at turn eight where you are millimetres away from catastrophe. What does he do this time around? He's just got to get through clearly, oh. but Jack Perkins, so there's traffic on the oh, side. clips the wall. Got Lounds away with it. into the concrete. Where on earth did that car come from? They managed to both get around it, but that has cost Craig Lowndes, and that's put James Courtney in the box seat. Just a couple of turns to go. The last time we saw him in 2013, he was all busted up at Phillip Island. He comes back with effectively a brand new car. And the rivalry between the Holden Racing Team and Red Bull Racing Australia is on. Courtney gets the win. Loud second. Van Gisbergen third. Four spots. This is Lowndes. Jack Perkins. Just appears out of nowhere and Lowndes just caught too shallow yeah. on the way in.